Rangers and their dumb strike, I'll never see my cousin in time. Where in God's name are we anyway? I'm feeling quite parched. I reckon we're in Topeka, Kansas. I remember riding through here during my years in the service. Well, this place sure is beautiful. I can't believe you can find green in these parts. If only you saw it before, brother. This place used to be our family home until the white man came. It was beautiful. Beautiful or not, this afternoon sun is scorching us. And I'm afraid the lady might paint a sunstroke. <laughs> I have connections at the local cantina. We could stay there for the time being and have some lunch. God, no! Entonces, ¿dónde nos vamos a ir a quedar? I won't be caught in such a dirty place. I am a lady of high society, not some disease-ridden prostitute. Entonces, ¿dónde nos vamos a ir a quedar? I'm sorry, but I couldn't help overhear you guys needed a place to stay for the time being. I'm right down the road, and I'm sure my parents wouldn't mind if you guessed. Oh, and I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Hope Robinson. Pleasure to meet you, miss. I was just down the road getting some groceries for lunch. You guys are all welcome to join me if you'd like. Just splendid. What will you be cooking? Oh, thank God. I fear if we stay in this heat any longer, my skin will burn. Pa, I'd like to introduce you to a few guests. Conductor went on strike, so the train's down. Is it okay if they stay for lunch? Of course. Welcome, everyone, to Great Plains Farm. My name is Jeremiah Robinson, proprietor of this place. Let me show you to the house. You guys must be starving. My wife is rustling up some lunch. Aya, what's the matter? He's the one. Well, count my blessings. What a surprise. Welcome, all. Sorry you have to see me in such a mess. I was just preparing lunch. Well, please, come in. You must be boiling under that sun. Thank you, madam, for hospitality in our time of desperate need. You really are an angel sent by God himself. Hope, please do what you can to make the guests stay more pleasant. Okay. Jeremiah, are you coming in? No, I'm going out. does this lady think she is? Never in my life have I ever been so annoyed by someone as rough as her. She's been living down in that wasteland for so long that she probably doesn't know what civilized society is. Here in America, we have standards, and she obviously doesn't fit in any of them. She's anything but a respectable lady. I want to stuck a burro. All she could think about is herself and her snooty reputation. Her and her dumb ideals will never see the light of day in my country. Her arrogance will get her nowhere. I may not be a lady, but I am a proud, independent Mexicana. Ooh, 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 today is my lucky day. It ain't all luck. Maxwell, you won six times in a row now. Tell me. What's your secret to success? I like to think of it as chance. Life really is just a large game of possibilities. You never know what you'll get or what will happen. One thing can win you something, another can cost you dearly. Kavanaugh, I heard you lost something or someone dear to you. My wife had died a few weeks ago. When I was stationed in Carson City, I got a telegraph from Sacramento that she had yellow fever. I was going to leave my squad to see my wife before it was too late, but before I could, the Daily Gang started terrorizing the miners. While I was fighting for our citizens, my wife was fighting for her life. I'm sorry for your loss. We were married for just two months when I lost her. That's why I'm here. I'm visiting her grave. Marco, I need some fresh air. Let's go outside. I made a promise to myself, Mako, that after we leave the Fort Independence Reservation, I avenge Pa's death and murder Jeremiah. It is my duty to destroy the man who destroyed our lives. But sister, he's such a nice man. How could he have done such horrible things? Many years ago, when our way of life was still alive, alive he led a group of white soldiers and they ransacked our homes and killed our people. Pa was trying to save Ma, but they shot Pa to death. They did terrible things to Ma too before killing her. You were too young to understand. 
but why come back to the same place that brings you so much suffering? You are sick with revenge, sister. I cannot help someone whose actions are twisted with such hatred and evil. We are now part of civilized society, not some native culture. Stop trying to be like the white man, Mako. You may think you're a civilized man, but he will always look at you like a savage. Come with me. Sweetheart, what's the matter? You look anxious. Act normal. You'll look out of place. Mom, I don't want to be a part of the scheme anymore. Hope, as your mother, you do as I say. Remember what the Bible says. Honor your pa and your ma that your days are longer upon the land which the Lord your God gave you. You do respect and love your ma and pa, don't you? I do love you both, but doesn't the Bible say you shall not... If you love me, Hope, you would keep my commandments. That is all I ask. Why don't you help me set the table, dear? That Dr. Whitman has the appetite of a starved wolf. I hope you all like beans, stew, and rice. It's my specialty. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the food provided for us and bless the hands that have prepared it. In Jesus' name, amen. Hmm, Miss Robinson, this is the finest pot of beans that tasted this side of the Rockies. Oh, I think I caught a fever. <laughs> I got word from the store clerk that the strike is still going on. I think you guys have to stay for a while. Just my luck. I'm going to be stuck here for God knows how long because of this ridiculous strike. Don't worry, Lady Davidson. I'm sure it's probably going to be resolved. Uh, Mrs. Robinson, uh, do you have any spare rooms? This afternoon heat has got me quite tired. I think I want to retire pretty early. We do have some spare rooms, actually. However, I don't know if we can accommodate all of you. You wouldn't mind rooming with her, would you? I don't mind. Hope, can you please come show the guests to their rooms? Yeah, of course. Will everyone follow me, please? Cephas, would you be a gentleman and help me carry my things to my room? Certainly, Lady Davidson. All right, Officer Kavanaugh, I set up pillows and blankets in the other room. Much obliged, miss. Is there any chance you can get me a glass of water, too? Yeah, of course. Thank you very much, man. Very, very nice to me since I've gotten here, and uh, if there's anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, take it easy. I'm sorry there's no more room in the house. You'll have to stay in the barn for the time being. Oh, don't worry about it. We really do appreciate what you've been doing for us. She only says that because her parents don't want us in the house. They want us to be outside with the rest of the animals. They're probably afraid we'll burn the house down. Jerry, get ready. Night's coming. We need to take care of our guests quickly. We don't want what happened last time to happen this time, do we? I thought I dug the graves deep enough. How was I supposed to know the coyotes would dig them up? You thought, jackass. Dig deeper graves this time. And don't forget to sharpen your knife, too. We can't have any survivors who will rat on us to the marshal. Rachel, this has got to be one of your greatest plans yet. We should have started this a long time ago. Who knew stealing that poor woman's baby would lead us to such wealth? Once we've got what we want, I'll take care of our sweet daughter, too. Come on, let's get out of here. My ma and pa aren't my ma and pa? What does that make them? What does that make me? I knew that we stole from our guests, but I had no clue that we killed them. Ma said that I should honor her and pa, but if they aren't my real ma and pa, how can I honor them if they break the other Ten Commandments? Are they criminals? Am I innocent? I can claim that I'm innocent, but I can't live with the guilt knowing that I didn't do anything to save them. That's it. I refuse to be a bystander. I won't let them cage me in this evil trap. I won't honor these criminals, especially when they've lied to me and used me for all these years. I won't be another victim in this bloody mess. What's wrong? What's the matter? You need to leave now. My parents are not who you think they are. What do you mean? They
They've been so kind to us. No, they're trying to lure you in. It's all a trap. They want to rob and kill every single one of you. You need to leave before it's too late. But I can't just leave you here. It's my duty as an officer of the army to protect you and all civilians. I'll risk my life if it means you'll be safe. Just help me find the others before my parents do. Maxwell! Maxwell! Oh, Kavanaugh, what is the meaning of this? Why are you both so exasperated? Their parents are who they say they are. You need to leave before they- ah! What just happened? That must have been Dr. Whitman. Maxwell, grab your things. We need to leave now. That's an order. Go to Lady Davidson and Donna Estrada's room and tell them that we've got to get out of here. Hope, we need to go warn the Indians at the barn. Let's go. Aya, Aya, where are you? Aya, what's the matter? Jeremiah and Rachel Robinson plan to murder and steal from us. You have to pack your bags immediately and leave. They've already got Dr. Whitman. Oh my goodness, is that why we heard that awful screaming earlier? What about that daughter of theirs? Can we trust her? Please just do as I say. Okay. Did you not hear him? You have to pack. Don't you speak English? I am no coward. Cowardice does not run through my blood. I'm a strong woman. I'm not afraid of death. It makes me feel more alive. Oh my goodness, Now is not the time for bickering. You have to pack your bags and leave. Me being down at the farm's front entrance. I have to tell the others before it's too late. Oh, Davis, would you be a gentleman and help me hang this thing? I really gotta be somewhere. Oh, please. Of course. Is that good? What a shame. He was such a gentleman. Aya, Mako, you need to leave before it's too late. My parents are after everyone and won't stop until every single one of you is dead and robbed. I have to fulfill Pa's dying wish. Aya, enough. Just, just stop. The past was then. There's nothing left in the past. We need to think about what's happening now. I can only think of the past. The past was full of love, family and happiness. The present has none of that. Everything changed when Jeremiah and his people came and robbed our homeland. No, my homeland. Why can't you understand my pain, brother? If he doesn't show up, I'm leaving. He said he'll be here. Don't you know anything? Just hold your horses. It's not polite to leave without his consent. You don't know anything about being proper. What do you mean proper? I don't need a man to tell me what to do. I get what I want because I will get it. You are the real life she-devil. You don't know anything about being proper. You just need to be put in your place, you arrogant broad! At least I'm not some white woman who has her whole life run by a list, okay? I do what I want, when I want to, because I work on my things and I don't depend on anybody to tell me what to do. You know what? I'm out of here, ya me voy! Where are you going, Mexico? If you want to live, you better bend up what your mama taught you. Jeremiah, if you know it's good for you, you'll let hope go! Over my dead body. Put your fists up like a man. <laughs> ah! You gave me a little scare there. Now to finish you off once and for all. No! This is for all the times you use me like a tool! I love you.
happy now? Is Pa smiling down from heaven at you? Do you think this is going to avenge our people, our family? One last thing.